Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of 80s Then, 80s Now, where we look at the cutest, the biggest, Cabbage Patch Dolls. 80s Then, 80s Now. Alright guys, so for episode one, I wanted to start us off right. Um, and among the thousands and thousands and thousands of 80s memorabilia items that I own, I wanted to start us off right with the biggest and brightest collection of all time, and that is the Cabbage Patch Kids and the Cabbage Patch Dolls. So with that, let's take a closer look of this amazing collection. All right, guys, so as you're looking at close-ups of the Cabbage Patch Kids and Dolls, I want to give you a brief history on the actual franchise itself. So the toy line was created by a 21-year-old art student named Xavier Roberts, and Back then, they were originally called the Little People, and they were sold in various arts and craft stores, and they were given to patients at the Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio. And so what you're looking at is more than just the doll and the figurines. The Cabbage Patch Kids were in everything from puzzles to party favors and, and board games and stamper sets and crayons and strollers and carriages and play sets and coloring books and stationery and pens and pencils and books and sticker albums and color forms and tricycles and radio and headphones and diapers and so what I wanted to do now is take a closer look at one of the actual Cabbage Patch Kids that's up for adoption. All right guys so what you're looking at now is a close-up of one of the Cabbage Patch dolls uh, right away you'll notice that the cellophane in this particular doll box is missing. Uh, there's a reason for that. Some of the dolls, if you store them in really uh, poor temperatures like either in an attic or a basement, uh, over time uh, the glue in the box tends to dry up and the cellophane becomes crunchy or crispy and then falls out. Now I have plenty of Cabbage Patch dolls that are still in great condition with the cellophane but I'm using this particular uh, doll because my mother purchased a similar doll uh, for my sister so I wanted to include this one and I'll also be able to reach out on the birth certificate and pull it out okay keep that in mind so I did want to mention before I um, show you the details of this doll I wanted to give you an idea of what the sides of the box look like so let's flip this one over or turn it to the side you'll notice there is um, sort of text here I'm going to read this to you uh, it says thank you for adopting me if you take care of me I will always love you and I'm very easy to take care of I am very soft and cuddly please hug me at least once a day if I get a little dirty, please clean me gently with a damp cloth. My clothes, except the diaper, can be hand washed. My name, birth certificate, and adoption papers are enclosed, plus a few words about my special personality traits. Please fill out my adoption papers and send them in to my friends at the Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch Kids are based on the original soft sculpture creation by Georgia artist Xavier Roberts. You will find his signature on every real Cabbage Patch Kid. Cool, right? All right, so we're going to turn the back, and this is what a standard Cabbage Patch box looked like. All right, uh, pretty cool. Little figures and characters here. Very nice. So I'm going to flip it back around to the front, and just so you know, um, this particular doll uh, was sold at Kmart for $29.97, which... I think back in 1984 that was a standard price. Yes, no, comment below if you got it cheaper or um, you paid more. All right, so this is what we're going to do right now. Um, I'm going to give away this doll to one lucky person. The catch is um, you have to share this baby's birthday. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the birth certificate. If your birthday falls on this baby's birthday, what you need to do is get to the nearest mailbox and post office. Make a letter out to me using the 80s fan club information on 80sthen80snow.com. And if you're lucky, you will win this baby. Got it? Deal? All right. So I'm going to move the baby over to the side. 
I'm going to take out the birth certificate. You will notice that it is sealed, never been opened for 23, 24 years. I can't count. 24? Okay. So remember, I'm going to open it. Good luck, everyone. So by the way, the baby's name is Marshall Ted. Cute, right? So we know it's a boy. Okay. I'm going to open it. Oh my God, this is so exciting. You know, I really wish I could open it neatly. I don't want to like, oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, wow. I know what astrological sign this is. Oh, it's a big reveal. Okay. Ready? Set. If your birthday is November 1st, November 1st, you are a Scorpio and this baby is a Scorpio. So hopefully you will write in and win it. All right, guys, so this concludes episode one of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and comment if you owned any of these amazing toys. Just so you know, what you're looking at is less than 20% of all the Cabbage Patch Kids items that I own. So we'll probably do a future episode and I'll give a lot of this stuff away to you, the fans. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, get ready because in episode two, we're going to talk about G.I. Joe. 80s then, 80s now. Action. Action. All right, guys. So for the thousands and th among the thousands and thousands.